A few months ago, I was watching a documentary about a 19-year-old man and his black girlfriend that he murdered in the most heinous way. This murder, although it happened a few years ago, in 2012, I believe, has a lot of relevance to a video I did a few months ago regarding fetishization of black women by white men and porn. And of course, a link to that video will be in the description. So what did this guy do? Tony Bushby of Boreham Wood, United Kingdom, met a black girl called Catherine in college. They became friends, but it didn't end there. Bushby needed Catherine to trust him, so he created multiple fake accounts on Facebook who all had multiple fake friends in common. He used these fake accounts to convince Catherine online that he was an honest and genuinely nice guy. He used them to say things about him to gain her trust. They said flattering or impressive things about him to get her to like him. After months of manipulation, Bushby and Catherine got into a secret relationship. But on Boxing Day night, the night of December 26th, Catherine was murdered in her sister's kitchen. She was at her sister's home babysitting her two nieces aged three and four. It was her nieces who discovered her blood-soaked body in the morning. Catherine died from a severe wound to the neck and a stab wound to the stomach that penetrated her vital organs. There was 23 stab wounds in total. Some of these stab wounds were at the very top of her thighs. Upon search of Bushby's house, investigators found multiple videos and porn history of extremely graphic and violent porn towards black women by white men. Some of these videos were so depraved and involved actual physical violence and simulations of rape. The judge involved in this case described the indecent video clips as racist porn. With timestamps and internet history, police proved that during those Facebook conversations, Bushby was actually watching rape porn and submissive black girl porn at the very same time as talking to Catherine. One film showed a woman forced to perform sexual acts with a knife held to her throat. Bushby regularly searched the phrase black girl rape porn, African slave porn, and ebony rape. Bushby went from becoming obsessed with this type of violent fantasy to realizing he knows a black woman and making that obsession a reality. These films depict black women in a very specific and degrading way and can be seen as inciting racial hatred or promoting violence against black women. Back in 2012, the judge in the case said, I am satisfied that your motive was a sexual one and that you derived sexual excitement from inflicting those injuries upon her. You inflicted stab wounds to the top of each of her thighs. On July 25, 2012, Tony Bushby was sentenced at St. Albans Crown Court to life imprisonment and is to serve a minimum of 25 years for the murder of Catherine Winter. This vile, racist monster befriended an innocent black girl in order to fulfill his dark, sordid fantasy. He went as far as convincing her to be his girlfriend by deceitful actions and lies, simply so he could act out the scenes within the racist rape pornography that he had become so obsessed with, and then murdered her and left her in the kitchen to be found by her three and four year old nieces. I stated in my previous video that porn of this sort is detrimental, worrying, and dangerous. There are some people that believe this sort of porn is harmless and merely just fantasy. I asked them, how harmless was this type of porn to Catherine Winter? Recent studies show that porn sites get more visitors than Netflix, Amazon, and Twitter combined, with hardcore race play and rape porn increasing in popularity amongst white men. Catherine's older sister has been protesting for a ban on racist pornography, which she believes clearly motivated Bushby's vile attack. I agree with her. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. Please remember that from now on, brand new never before seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. ikyg.com is a black owned, black ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, 
Find out all the tea and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you free forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.